Hey everyone, it's Sean from Explorminate here, and today we're going to have a look at Tactical Breach Wizards. So this is the latest game in development from Suspicious Developments, that's Tom Francis' studio. They made Heat Signature and Gunpoint. So now this is the, it's the playtest on Steam. It's, I, I think it's maybe a beta, it's not the complete version anyway, whatever it is, it's a, it's a playtest. Um, now Rob and I both applied to join this playtest and Rob didn't get in and he was kind of sad about it. So I promised that I would record this stuff so that he could sort of have a look at it through my eyes kind of thing and get to see what it was like. So there isn't really a main menu that I could tell. It seems to have just kicked me straight back to the game. There's no main menu to go back to. So we're going to just jump right in. This is a, a turn-based tactics game, but um, I sort of feel like it's more of a puzzle kind of game. Most of the levels are handcrafted and there's... A, either an optimal way or pretty much an only way that like a, a way that it's been designed to be finished so i'll load this up anyway and we'll have a look we have got a bit of a flashback mission here i really like this it's like they've blended magical terms and like real life sort of tactical terms together it's cool Yeah, there's a lot of this. It's pretty clearly story-driven. I'm pretty sure there's actually a statement from Tom Francis out there somewhere saying that this is meant to be a story-driven game. So there is a lot of dialogue. And you get to pick different options too, which is kind of cool. I don't think it affects any outcomes or anything, but they'll give different responses. So it's still pretty cool to have. Oh, now that is Zan Veska. He is a Navy Seer, which is a take, obviously, on Navy Seal. So being a Seer, he can see a little bit into the future. So, presumably that's pretty handy. Alright, let's find out. Breach. Love that animation. That's awesome. Love the humour. Like, the back and forth and the banter and like, all the, like, cheekiness. That's great. So what I've done, shot him with the three bolt burst, so that it does one damage and knocks them back one space. Because he was right in front of a window, it's knocked him out the window. Uh, presumably they don't die because of the slow fall wards. It must be around the ship so that they don't die when they fall out. So yeah, I have already played through this whole game once and I will never get tired of knocking people out of windows. It's awesome. Alright, we've done this mission already. I think this is a rating a rating system for the beta testing, so I'm not going to worry about that. All right. Weird planty shit. Um. They, they also take environmental damage, so I've only hit him for one damage, but then I've knocked him into the wall and he's taken another damage and he's dead, well, unconscious. I don't think they're big on the whole killing your enemies thing in this. Typically, this is the way to end your object, like levels at the moment is open the security door with a laptop. and in a ghillie suit. They have some interesting ideas. Uh, I'm going to try and go for the most smart alecky responses I can find, just because it's funny. Reach. Very cool, just like... Alright. 
environmental hazards can do damage. Yep, use the laptop. Done. Chronomancer. I got it mixed up. I thought it was like a chronokinetic or something like that. Anyway, close. Whatever. Let's go with it. So they present this as a binary choice, like in theory I could have walked up here and shot that thing out the window and then the hostage would have died but I would have saved lived, live, but the point of the story is that you don't save live, so like if I shoot him out the window it just makes me replay the level, so, yep, these just looked into the future, oh hang on, uh, end turn, wait what? out of dropping more guys except a better rating I think so all right so that's the prologue All right, so this is Jen. Um, I can't really remember. I don't even know if it really explains how exactly she's connected to Zan, the guy from the prologue. Um, but she's a private detective. Private investigator, that one. As I said, there's a lot of this text driven stuff, like it's a lot of back and forth. I mean, the band is pretty good, but yeah, there's a lot of it. Alright, so she was hired to rescue someone from this woman and has found him dead with the woman standing over him and the woman has escaped and she hasn't chased her down and and then called the cops and then wound up getting arrested and ended up at the station, I guess, is basically the story. All right. Oh, and now the station's on fire. I 
feel like that's almost like a Thanos moment. It's like, you took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. I don't know if it was meant to be like that, but I don't know if that's what I thought of. The less lethal pyromancer. Interesting. Well, you're about to come a lot less lethal because you get shot out a window. Yeah, that's the term they use for knocking people out of windows, defenestrations. I need to look that up after this and check if it is actually in the dictionary. Like, I actually want to know now. Probably it, it maybe it is? I don't know. So now we have access to her chain bolt move, so you can knock multiple targets around at the same time. Whoa. Oh, okay. Apparently dialogue freezes you in place. That was awkward. The levels do get longer and a little more complex as you go through. I, I didn't find any of them particularly difficult. I think once I'd learned how they work, well, you can't really even afford to lose any health. You've got very low health pools. Like if you get hit by one guy, it's pretty much enough to kill you. It doesn't really matter what they are that hits you. Alright, so Liv Kennedy is in the police station, apparently killing off a bunch of cops and doing something. Uh, you get medical with that. One turn, smooth. <laughs> That's nice, though I don't know who that is. Ah. Uh. A lot of I don't know. I know I've already said it, but I really like the humor. It's like, what does it pay? Nothing, I'm broke. That's really competitive with what I'm earning right now. That's awesome. Enforcer. Just shunt him around until he gets frustrated. Okay, so basically it's a fancy overwatch. It's a pretty cool description though. Very technical. Uh
Okay, uh, so he's got, that guy's in Overwatch, so Jen needs to enter from here, I guess. Um, Efficient. There we go. Cool. All right. What's next? Apparently he can't see me yet. Cool. Alright. Alright, he can go out the window. Goodbye. Case. Ah, uh, no, they can't move anymore. Alright. Oh man, there's more of them. Alright. See what we got. Yeah, okay. He's going to back himself into a corner here. Okay, it looks like they're out of reinforcement, so that's something. Out the window. Bye bye. Okay. Now I can start moving. Can't really do anything there either. Not my most efficient effort, but all right.
All right, so the woman who killed Wexler is down here, apparently. Backstory. All right, mission complete. Spend perk points. You can increase your move range or your health. Static blast better. What is that? Would that that would give me three knockback. Oh, that's pretty cool. But no, I want chain blast. Chain blast is pretty awesome. Um. Go an extra damage to three bolt burst, maybe. Yeah, because it only costs an action. Alright, I think that'll do for this episode. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, until next time, this was Sean for Explominate.